sisi leo tumeungana hapa ame tumekumesanyika kuja kuungana na familia ya mwenda zake e, ni familia ya mheshimiwa nyenze ambaye ilikuwa ni kiongozi wetu ambaye ni kiongozi ambaye tumekuwa naye katika bunge la moja na mbili kwa wale ambao tumepata nafasi ya kuongoza wa mwapili huyu ni msiba mkubwa kwa familia na ni msiba mkubwa kwetu sisi viongozi na ni msiba mkubwa sana kwa mrengo wetu wa NASA kwa hivyo sisi tunawaambia familia pole na wakati huu mgumu sisi tunasimama na wao na tutasimama na familia kuhakikisha wakati huu mgumu mpaka yule wakati tutampeleka mwenda zake mahali ambapo ni pamwisho pa mapumziko na nikiwa mwenyekiti wa wabunge wa pwani tunasema pole sote kwa jumla Mungu awabariki sana na familia tunasema tena pole asante sana Okay yeah I think thank you very much if you allow me I will call the family member uh, to give the first shot and then we'll say something so senator I think you can come and talk on behalf of the family members, please come and uh, yeah, members we support this. so let's allow the family first to give the first shot um is everybody ready Uh, so uh, thank you very much uh, members of press uh, for showing up uh, my name is Eno Kwambua I'm the senator of Kitui County and a brother-in-law to the late Honorable Francis Nyense so on behalf of the family uh, I want to make this announcement that at 7.50 a.m. Honorable Francis Mwanzia Nyense uh, left us. He was admitted at um, Nairobi Hospital and we have uh, transferred the body here uh, to leave funeral home. Um, a lot of his colleagues have come to stand with us and we really appreciate that and going forward we will be communicating uh, what needs to be done and when for now we just want to confirm yes uh, honorable francis omansia nyense uh, left us this morning thank you so, uh, on behalf of the members of parliament uh, it is indeed very sad uh, to convey this sad news that uh, one of our colleagues, Honorable Francis Nyenze, who was our minority leader in the 11th Parliament, and who is, who is also one of the most senior uh, members of Parliament serving from the, our region, Kambano region, uh, has passed on. So when we got this sad news, we did mobilize our colleagues and we are quite a number of us who are here so we came to say poly to the family and uh, assure the nation that uh, as members of parliament we are indeed very very sorry we are indeed saddened by the passing on of our colleague uh, we all know he has been sick for some time you, you've been told that he passed on at 7 15 in the morning so as members of parliament we'll be working closely with the family once they give us the plans in terms of how we move forward uh, to make sure that we give our colleague uh, the send-off which really befits him so we are quite a number as you can see i'm sure i, I will have i don't know whether you mind if i introduce we are quite a number but i don't know how much time we have we also have uh, uh, cs wamalwa who has joined us and a bassender kema kilonzo who are also with us here so as you can see other than just outside i think this is such really a national issue and mwishimu has served this country very well and we must say that his contribution will remain a legacy in this country so we'll be briefing you as we move on with the arrangements thank you very much any questions was it your first question uh, thank you very much. 
Uh, we are greatly saddened by the passing of our friend, uh, Honorable Nyenze, who had many friends beyond Ukambani and across this country, and who was one of uh, the most respected leaders of this country. When you're talking about sobriety and maturity in the politics of this country, Honorable Nyenze had his place. And indeed, we are greatly saddened to lose him at this time. And we've come here to say pole to Mama Edith and the family, to say pole to the good people of uh, uh, Kitui County for losing a leader, especially at this time when the country is going through a transition period. And we pray for the family that the good Lord will give them the strength to bear this great loss. Thank you. Um, on behalf of uh, the people of Kitui County and my on behalf I wish to bring my condolences to the family of the Honorable Nyenze family which we passed on uh, this morning the, the, the Ukambani nation has really lost a great leader and as we mourn the death of uh, Nyenze we call upon all the political groupings from Ukambani to come together so that we can give this great leader of Ukambani a decent send-off. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, just a question, yes. yeah, probably to you. Um, you are a leader from Kitui County. Yes. Um, and Mwashimu uh, Njenze has been a leader and an MP in Kitui County for quite some time. Uh, what um, memories do you have of uh, the late Mwashimu? Actually, that is very good because Nyenze is one of the leaders who were there from Ukambani who fought for multi-party. You remember during uh, the 1992, he was among the leaders who really moved to ask for multi-party democracy. He came in parliament, I guess, the first time was 1997. Both Honorable Nyenze and I ran on a Kanu ticket at the time. He went through, I didn't go through, but we maintained very close contacts. Honorable Nyenze did not see leaders from a political grouping. He was able to work with leaders across the political divide, both within the Ukambani constituencies or counties, and even nationally. Nyenze was a development conscious leader. He would be remembered because of the immense contribution he did uh, so far as uh, development is concerned. And again, he was a very humble leader. Nyenze is not the kind of leader who would be showing off. He was at home with all class of people, be it uh, the ruling class, be it uh, the grassroots. That is why he was able to be elected three times in parliament. As we stand now, the colleagues have said he is the most senior leader we had in parliament. Are you insinuating because of the open-minded nature here?